Brakati Ahawa, Brakati Ahawa Shai, Brakati Ahawa, Brakati Ahawa Shai, Brakati Ahawa, Brakati Ahawa Shai, Brakati Ahawa, Brakati Ahawa Shai. Ka Halam La, Allah Hainawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwadash. Dub our honors unto the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well, Shalom, unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well, Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty Shalom, to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure, Shalom, Shalom. So this lesson right here is going to go into the World Economic Forum and the meeting they're having out there in Davos, Switzerland which is a meeting of the minds between you know, the wicked elites, puppets, and their constituents, you know, Klaus Schwab, Yuval Noah Harari, and the usual suspects. And what's on the table as far as the discussion table is plans to crash the economy, plans to microscopically tag everybody, to get inside your body and augment you know, your body with that device to control your thoughts, through the brain, through the uh, the brain implant, you know, and basically, the next steps towards their great reset on the left-handed side, because we know the real great reset is when Yahweh Shai cracks the skies and takes down all power, rule, and authority, and sets up the kingdom of heaven physically, because we have the kingdom of heaven spiritually. It's when it's in the minds of the whole for the elect, the victory. But what we have to go through is the straight gate. And we're coming into a time like never before. And you saw Edom is going to pull out all the tricks, all the tricks out of the playbook, all to not, you know, when it comes to the whole for the elect. And that's the beauty of this thing. That's what that's what gives us comfort day by day is knowing that the beast won't win. But back to the subject at hand. Now what you have being discussed on the table is the RFID implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast, the crashing of, the, uh, uh, of global economies and rationalization of goods putting everything on a social credit system the global police state and the carbon footprint society well let's get a couple precepts I actually had Psalms 33 on deck we'll just get this first this is Psalms 33 and 10 and it reads the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai bring it the counsel of the heathen to not he maketh the devices of the people of none effect. He bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Let's get Psalm 64 and quit. Let's get Psalm 64. It's like I'm a little, I'm a little sleepy, so bear with me. This is Psalm 64. And let's get the first and second verses. And it reads, A Psalm of David. Hear my voice, O Yahweh Shema Shai, and my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Why is it called the secret counsel of the wicked? Because for a long time, the wicked elite, they were able to move in secrecy. You know, it's only because we're in the last of the last days that they're even known as far as the Illuminati is even known. That wasn't household information, you know, until about 10, 15, you know, years ago or so, you know, more so when the apostles started to get on YouTube and start to speak about, you know, the wicked elite and call out names, you know, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Giddies, the Shivs, the Wahlbergs, you know, you know, so on and so forth, the Rothschilds. Psalm 64 and 2, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Yep. 
Now this is um, Psalm 33 and 10. The Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, bringeth the counsel, bringeth the counsel, there goes that word counsel, of the heathen to not. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Let's get this real quick. While we're on that, this is Psalms 2 and 1. And it reads, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Their new world order. Because it's going to be to not. When it comes to the hopeful elect, they're not going to take the RFID and play with microchip. And they're going to they're going to be speaking out and prophesying against your wicked, you know, fascist society step by step and play by play. And calling everything out and telling you the judgment before it comes into fruition. Because that's the prophet's job, to tell you the future before it happens. Real quick. I won't be long-winded, Lord's will. I'm going to hit these points, and we'll go right into the information, and we'll, we'll wrap on up in, next, in the next 20, 25 minutes, Lord's will. This is Isaiah 42 and 9, and it reads, Everything I have prophesied has come true, and the Lord is on the power that he shall lie. And all of his words are going to come to pass with the people here for bear. And what, what is our job to do? To prophesy against Mount Seir, you know, to prophesy against the new world order. To tell the nations their judgment, to tell our people the judgment if they don't repent. Prophesy unto our people and prophesy to the nations. Tell them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahshai. It ain't going to work. When it comes to the hopeful elect. And you're going to be destroyed. And all of you guys are going into slavery, man. Isaiah 42 and 9. Everything I have prophesied has come true. And now I will prophesy again. I will tell you the future before it happens. And that's what, that's what prophecy is. Telling you the future before it happens. Through the divine power of the Lord. You know, the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. Let's get this real quick. Psalms 33 and 10. The Lord Yahweh the Lord Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. He maketh the devices, that word devices is evil plans, of the people of none effect. Let's just prove it real quick. <clears throat> this word for counsel is Aitaza. Aitaza, which goes into counsel, counsel's purpose, counsel, purpose, advice, implication, plan. Yep, plan. Let's go into the root word. The root word is Ya'aitaza. Ya'aitaza. And it goes into deviseth, advice, counselor, to conspire, to consult together, exchange counsel, deliberate counsel together. And that's what's happening out there in Davos, Switzerland. They're conspiring what? To do evil, man. You know, to try to microscopically tag everybody, to put everything on a metered society to where you're going to have to have a good social credit score, limited goods and services, limited travel based on a carbon footprint and a RFID tag inside you and a brain device inside you to control your thoughts. You know, and if they don't like the way you move, if they don't like the way you operate, they'll just shut it off and uh ostracize you from society if you speak out against it you know you're going to be ostracized cut off some of us beheaded so on and so forth let's go into this information though so what do you have going out and uh what do you have going on right now well they have what's called the davos annual meeting and i googled this and what you see pop up as elites arrive in Davos, conspiracy theories thrive online. Now, what did the United Nations declare war on a few months back? I want to say in August. War on alleged conspiracy theories. The World Economic Forum is saying the same thing. United States, Babylon the Great, and other countries like Canada, Ireland, they're saying the same thing. If anybody's speaking out against this, arrest them. You know, throw them in prison. Fine them. You know? You know, publicly, you know, and uh, publicly, you know, humiliate them, you know, castrate them economically. That's what happened to 
allegedly, allegedly happened to Kanye West. And nobody's heard from Kanye West. Allegedly, he's missing. You know, we'll see how that plays out. You know, like the Apostle Dahar says, you know, just about everything's is a man. You know, but what happened to Kyrie Irving? Allegedly, right? Well, he was financially castrated, you know, and that's going to happen to us. Pursuant to Second Ezra, real quick. Let's get this real quick. Let's just precept that. Second Ezra. And 40. Second Ezra 16 and 40. And it reads, O oh my people, hear my word. O oh my people, hear my word. And what are you supposed to be doing? If you're a teacher, you're supposed to feed the sheep, give them warning, prepare them for the day of battle. So when these things are what we call game speed, you know, you're in the game, everything's coming at you game speed, you're already prepared because your spiritual uh, advisors, you know, your coaches have prepared you and prepped you up for the game. So you're not surprised you know, at different plays and formations you see using football talk, you know, you're not surprised when, you know, they're throwing eight in the box, they're, they're throwing four, six, a uh, bear defense at you. They're, they're switching up the coverages as far as Esau Edom's doing this and doing that because you've been coached up, you know, second Ezra 16 to 40. Oh, my people, oh, my people hear my word. Well, the heavenly father has to construct you in a way to where you can hear and understand through the gift called faith, through the Holy Spirit. Second Exodus 16 to 40. O my people, hear my word. Make you ready for thy battle. And in those evils, bad times, that's what evils goes into, evil, bad times, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Because, you know, like it's been said many a times, this message is going to be public enemy number one. <clears throat> and... Esau Edom is already starting to speak super draconian just when it comes to the truth as far as true information information that's against the narrative real quick let's get a couple points right here we'll just use the local news uh, it's like it the national international news from newspunch.com that happened over the past few days Klaus Schwab this came out a few hours ago, the brother from the camp sent me this uh, between our chat that we have. Klaus Schwab, I am the new world orders pope. You know, that's just playing upon tables. You know, this man is starting to speak like a dragon. Jacinda Ardern, who's a young global leader of the World Economic Forum for the Great Reset, vows to ban immune boosting supplements only big pharma can be trusted John Kerry claims to be chosen by the Most High to help usher in the Great Reset code talk for the New World Order World Economic Forum declares US will soon have hate speech laws to deal with information pollution now what did the World Economic Forum the UN and other countries declare war on conspiracy theories conspiracy theorists war economic forum elites want you to own nothing and be happy fly hundreds of sex workers to davos i mean man you know war economic forum warns that misinformation is one of the top global risks now what are they also talking about and meeting about when it comes to this war economic forum annual meeting okay I'm trying to make this under uh, 40 minutes if I can. Let's go right to it. So this came out yesterday, and this is uh, on Reuters, but this is also on the World Economic Forum's website. We're going to go into it as well. Davos 2023. Let me see if I finish this precept. Let's get this precept. Psalms 33 and 10. The Lord Yehobashim Ashai bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Let's get this word devices. That word devices is Mahashaba, Mahashaba. And it goes into thought device, 
device plan invention. Woo! Invention. The MOT to the B. Yep. That which any medicates purposes or i.e. a council plots a project. What? A project. Well, what do they call it? The Great Reset, man. Imaginations. Invented. Devise. Cunning. What? Cunning. That should stick out like a sore thumb. You know? Now, what is Esau also known as? The serpent. This is Genesis. Genesis 3. <clears throat> and it reads, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord Yahweh Shai had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, the Most High had said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And that, that has a spiritual overtone. Because we know the woman to be Eve, but in the spiritual overtone, you know, it's also referring to Israel. If you keep on reading on down, you know, because it talks about how, you know, the sea, the serpent. Real quick. Yep. The sea, the serpent will be adverse with the sea, the woman. And we know the woman doesn't carry the sea. The man carries the sea. Hold up. Bear with me. Yep, this is Genesis 3 and 15. And it reads, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed, the seed, the serpent. And that wasn't a serpent, it wasn't a snake, it was a man with a serpentile spirit. Esau Edom, before he was Esau Edom. You know. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, seed of Israel. Yazir Allah, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And we're on this devil's heel, man, you know? <clears throat> and we're on his head through the spirit, you know? Now let's go to, real quick. Genesis 3 and 1, and it reads, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord Yahweh Shemashah had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. That word subtle goes into cunning. Yep. I rawam. I rawam. Cunning. Usually in a bad sense, crafty. Wise to do evil, you know. And you have two thirds of our people who are just like Esau Edom. Now let's go back to, real quick, this. And we'll go from there. This came out yesterday. Actually, it came out today, because today is still the 17th. Bear with me. Yeah. But it's uh, the 18th over there in Europe. This came out a few hours ago. Um. 11.07 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it came out this morning, better yet. Davos 2023. What you need to know about the World Economic Forum on Tuesday. Now what caught my attention when I first skimmed through this is the first paragraph. And the rest speaks for itself. We're not going to read the whole article. We're, we're just going to key on, we're just going to key on this image right here and this first paragraph. Bear with me. Let me get my incense lit. <clears throat> okay. The data sculpture. Artificial realities. Artificial realities. And that's what they're pumping out. That's what they're pushing. You know, the metaverse, you know, merging man with machine. Transhumanism. You know, pushing, you know, artificial intelligence. The data sculpture, 
Artificial Realities Choral by Turkish-born artist Refik Anadol is reflected in a window at Davos Congress Center, the venue for the World Economic Forum 2023 in the Alpine Resort of Davos, Switzerland, January 17th, 2023. Yep. Now let's go into this phrase right here, which I googled, artificial realities. Augmented reality is an interactive experience that combines the real world and computer-generated content. The content can spin multiple sensory modalities, including visual, auditory, haptic, somat somatosensory, and olfactory. Yep. And I'm putting this up where I didn't read any of this. But augmented reality, right? Now, something that came out a few months ago is what I did a lesson on through the Spirit back in August. Now, if you go to this lesson right here, I'll leave a, the Karagma. I'll leave a link to this lesson because, you know, I, I went to the Karagma pretty heavy, I believe, in this lesson. But there was something in this lesson that's related to what's coming out right now. And this is on the World Economic Forum's website. This is a conspiracy theories. Reject cookies, bear with me. This came out August 16th, 2022. And it goes into augmented tech can change the way we live, but only with the right support and vision. With the right support and vision. Yep, help us uh, prevent the spread of misinformation. Augmented reality. What's augmented reality? Augmented reality is basically him alter uh, him altering you, man. Let's look up augmented. Augmented to increase, having being made greater in size or value, denoting or containing an interval which is augmented, made greater larger or more complete may greater larger or more complete that's him being god him saying through his technology he can make you better now what do you have when i look this up we'll get to this next real quick this is on i googled this right world economic forum uh, augmented society this is the first thing that came up. And this is, they've done many articles on this, you know? This is on their website. I didn't even look this one up. Let's get this as well. You know, merging man with machine. I mean, man, come on. Real quick, let's go to Habakkuk, man. This is, this is beautiful. And this is a, a semi-raw lesson. I have some of this stuff pulled up. But as we go through this, we're just going to get precepts, you know, through the spirit. The Lord's will, it's edifying. How long have we been going? I'll try to make it under 45 minutes if I can. Okay, Carl. We'll aim out 44 minutes and 44 seconds through the spirit. If we can. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1. And it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am approved. And that's what we do. We send upon our watch in the form of watching on the watchtower, which is the unicorn, the Internet. You know, looking at articles, looking at what's going on in Israel, you know, what these other congregations are teaching. You know, what's going on as far as outside of Israel, what, what vocab Malone is doing and the madness that he's spewing out. You know, looking at what the World Economic Forum is doing what certain governments are doing that are pushing the digital technocracy, what certain governments are doing who are pushing the authoritative police state. Real quick, since we're on that point, let's get this real quick. And I'll have a title for the lesson. It's going to be like, I'll, I'll call it News and Prophecy, um, something along the lines through the Spirit. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Real quick.
that was uh bear with me i want to say is it blacklisted news there was a certain um news article that was going into how they were doing a a global police state or there's a certain government out there tripping let me put bear with me I think it might be zero hedge. That's all good. This is a good one. Politicians and commentators are blocked online in Brazil after a censorship order targets Bolsonaro support. But there's a certain government, I want to say it was New Zealand, that was just arresting people. Let me see if it's natural news. It might be natural news. It's all good. Bear with me. I'm going to try to find this article. If I can't find it, I can't find it. There was an article I was looking at. That's the spirit. You know, it's crazy. But they were arresting people in a certain uh, country, and they were saying it was the uh, ground zero or something like that for the New World Order. It might be zero hedge. Let me see if it's zero hedge. I think it might be zero hedge. Yeah. Yep. The Wadi Abashi Masha. This is a new zero hedge, and this came out today, 7 p.m. In New Zealand, is New Zealand a beta test? For Western governments micromanaging the populace. Yep. And what's happening in New Zealand? Well, in New Zealand, they're basically, you know, straight up a, a a mini version of China, you know, where this lady right here is being a dictator. And that's what's going on right here in a news punch. We'll go back to that other information real quick. Jacinda Ardern, who is also a young global leader, you know, a, a part of the World Economic Forum's young global leaders for the Great Reset. Uh, so is Justin Trudeau. Vows to ban. You see those three words right here. IBS. IBS. And that's who it is. Some BS, you know. Because the real physician is Yahweh Shai. You know, only big pharma can be trusted, and that's, you know, the mentality of Esau Edom. Only I can be trusted. I can make you better. I can augment you. You know, I can, I can, I can make greater, larger, or more complete through what? Through his digital technocracy, through his technology. Let's go into this real quick. Yep, augmented reality. And this is on the World Economic Forum website. When did this come out? This will give me a date. Yep, let's just read the first paragraph. Augmented reality and virtual reality are finding accelerated adoption in this new normal. In this new normal. A, V, A, R, augmented reality and virtual reality. Same thing. You know, combining, you know, man with machine. Making you better. Through what? Through left-handed means, through those left-handed miracles, you know, and he's promoting the left-handed miracles. I can cure this. I can cure that. I can do this. I can do that. I can make this better. I can, I can detect this. It's easy. It's convenient. You know, the promotion and the convenience factor is going to fool a lot of people. Now, real quick, I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but I want to get this real quick. Let's go back here. Bear with me. 
Bear with me. Now, when you go into this, one thing that was noticeable is who are they using? You see Eve right there. You know? Four things you need to know about the metaverse this week. And this is on the World Economic Forum's website for agenda articles, virtual and augmented reality. Believe it, uh, should you believe your eyes, not, necess not necessarily in virtual reality. You see Eve right there. You see Eve right there. And there was a commercial that was played, I want to say it was during uh, halftime of a basketball game I was watching. I was watching the Lakers on TNT, or it may have been Spectrum Local. But I, I remember watching the Lakers, and partway through the game, I want to say third quarter, fourth quarter, they launched a couple of commercials back to back of the metaverse and it was Eve all in the commercials, you know, all in awe at this man's technology. And what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of people's uh, family members and kids be coerced into, you know, being in awe at this man's technology. And you're going to have a lot of men because you know, they don't want to lose their families. Ultimately, take this. You know, I'm just speaking through the spirit because who are they targeting? Women and children. The weaker vessels, you know. The weaker vessel in the form of the woman and then you have the children and they're, they're young and their minds are well developed. You know, they're easily impressionable. And what do you have being perpetuated? The Rainbow Coalition gang agenda, you know. You got the avatar with the nice little colorful Air Maxes or whatever type of kicks. Real quick, let's go back here. Let's get some. This is a an article that was done. That was a that inspired this lesson right here. There was it was this lesson right here. Yep, and this is also in the work and on the forum website. Augmented technology can change the way we live, but only with the right support and vision. This is Habakkuk 2 and 1, and it reads, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, write the vision, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. That vision, the word vision goes into prophecies, you know, the prophecies. That's what it goes into, you know. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Let's prove all things. Real quick. <clears throat> yep, and that word vision is chazawan. Chazawan, and it goes into vision as title of book of prophecy vision oracle prophecy divine communication that's what it goes into the vision that's talking about the prophecies for the pro for the vision the prophecies is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and the prophecy of the mot to the b being the rfid and nfc digital technology that goes inside you is speaking loud and clear it's right in your face for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry it's not going to take forever you know in the form of this man eventually mandating it and making it a part of everyday society and you happen to have it you know to function in his society real quick this is a part of that uh, lesson this is the less this is the article that inspired the lesson in august where economic forum suggests that there are rational reasons to microchip your child and who are they targeting right here children real quick let's go back into the lesson right here and the article that came out in the lesson one of the articles that was in the lesson and this is on the Work and Reforms website, man. This isn't a conspiracy theory. You know? Let's let's read let's read some out of here. 
help us prevent the spread of misinformation. This article has been intentionally misrepresented on sites that spread false information. Well, you're, man, that's, that's this devil being hurt, man. Please read the piece for yourself before sharing or commenting. The World Economic Forum is committed to pushing a wide array of opinions. Mis, uh, misrepresenting content diminishes open conversations. Yeah, whatever, whatever, nigga. Pardon my Persian. Augmented reality technology has the ability to transform society and individual lives, particularly in healthcare and mobility. As but as much as visual and hearing aids are a part of our lives, implant technologies could become the norm in future. This is on their website, man. You know, it's a part of their it's on their website, bro. You know? WEFforum.org. This ain't conspiracy theory. This is on their website, man. I'm going to read again. As much as visual and hearing aids are part of our lives today, implant technologies com- to, could become could become the norm in future. I mean, that's that, that says everything right there. These expectations may sound unattainable, but we're already making the first strides towards an augmented society. An augmented society. I mean, it says everything right there you need to know. We just read augmented, what it means. Altered, you know. You being you being changed, you know, on the left-handed side. Now, let's go into some more of this. We pretty much got all we needed out of here. Because what did they talk about? If you go into that article, which I read most of it, it goes into how they're predicting and basically preparing people for the economic turbulence and the system reset and crash of you know the current economic system that they have and implementing a new one through digital everything that's what they're that's what they're that's what they're basically prophesying on the left-handed side you know that's boasting of their heart's desire now going back into this real quick i'll probably get a few more points and wrap on up this is also on their website I looked up War Economic Forum 2023 Brain Implants. And you can't make this up. This is on their website. Intelligence.wef WorkEconomicForum.org. This is on their website. The Economist, December 15, 2022. Brain Implants, the Future of Computing. Our Brain Implants, the Future of Computing. Image brain, imagine brain implants that could let you control devices by thought alone or let computers read your mind <laughs> or let computers read your mind. Think about that. That's all we need to read from that. And this is on their website. This is a conspiracy theory. And look at they're trying to recruit me right here, you know. Become a premium or a pro member now and get exclusive access to the virtual program of the World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2023. Let's get a few last precepts and wrap on up. I just wanted to bring this out. This is uh, speaking loud and clear. And we know where this is going. And where are they also saying at that World Economic Forum meeting? Well, they're talking about, let's get real quick. Let's go into, uh, Let's go into Google real quick to see what else is see what else is popping out there. And pretty uh, I'm pretty sure more stuff will come out. But let's see what else is popping. <clears throat> Recession in 2023. That depends on where you are in the world. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know? So they're let they're setting the tone and they're letting it be known. Hey, that rhymed. They're setting the tone and they're letting it be known what they plan on doing. You know, augmenting people, altering people, you know, and crashing the economy and bringing in that RFID implantable microchip, you know, through these central bank digital currencies. And if you got a problem with it, you know, if you're speaking out against it, guess what you're going to be called? A conspiracy theorist, you know, a, a, a coup, uh, 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 you know, a coup, a, a nut job. You know, a crazy person. 
Yeah, let's read the first paragraph from here. Klaus Schwab, I am the New War Order's Pope. Klaus Schwab has been declared has declared that he is the New War Order's Pope and has vowed to remain the head of the globalist organization until the day he dies. Wow. He said it's no limit for life. You know, inside joke. And that's that's Esau Edom's mentality. You know, he, he's the no limit soldier, no limit in his side, man. You know, there's no limit to his wickedness. Because he that's the way he was made. Real quick, let's get a couple precepts. Let's go to Psalms 10. This is Psalms 10. And it reads, The wicked in his pride don't persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. The wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. And blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. And what is he boasting of? His new world order. You know? But the scriptures say, The counsel of the heathen cometh to none effect. Let's go to Psalm 7. We're in Psalms heavy today. This is Psalm 7. I think it's about 9. Yep, this is Psalm 7 and 9. And it reads, O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just for the righteous. The Most High trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of the Most High, which saveth he upright in heart. And he's going to come through for his elect, because he has respect unto his chosen. That's in Wisdom of Solomon. Let's say it's four. Yep. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 15. And this is going into, you know, Enoch. You know? Yep. You know, this is our hope right here that we're translated. I'll get this in the, in the KJV, in the uh, GNT. Ah, come on. I thought my phone froze on me. Or G and T. Yep. Bear with me. This is Wisdom of Solomon four. This is goes this goes into Enoch. You know. Wisdom of Solomon four and ten. And it reads Once there was a once there was a man named Enoch who pleased the Most High, and the Most High loved him. While Enoch was still living among sinners, the Most High took him away, which is what we're hoping for, to be taken away, to be translated, so that evil and falsehood could not, co could not corrupt his mind and soul. And that's what this man is looking to do. He's looking to corrupt your mind and your soul by putting that RFID implantable microchip in you. We just read it, you know. Real quick, let's go back to it, man, because this, this nigga Esau is twisted, man. You know? And this is on their website. They say no conspiracy theory. It's on. They're telling it themselves. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shai is putting it out there, you know, making it plain upon tables. There's no hiding, you know, who the wicked is anymore and what the RFID implantable microchip is really in prophecy. It's the MOT to the B, man. Our brain implants the future computing. Imagine brain implants that let you control devices. What the word devices again? Inventions. We just went over it. You know? Imagine brain implants that let you control devices by thought alone or let computers read your mind. I mean, that says everything, man. Call all your Habashim Yashai. This is Wisdom of Solomon 4. Let's just read in the GNT. This is a. Uh, this is some good stuff right here through the spirit. This is Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 12, and it reads, I'll, I'll get 11. So that evil and falsehood could not corrupt his mind and soul, for we all know that people can be so fascinated by evil that they cannot recognize that, that, they, can re that they cannot recognize what is good even when they are looking right at it. And that's ultimately what the Heavenly Father has our people in the state of. Who can't receive this truth they're blinded you know they think that we're crazy we're wicked and they were trying to you know justify putting 
you know, certain men in jail because they didn't want to take the, the, uh, the, the hot sauce. Now it's going to get more turned up when this karagma gets pushed out there in the forefront. And but it, and it's placed right in front of your face in the form of you're going to you're going to take it or are you going to trust in how about Shemiah And you're going to be demonized for telling people not to take it, you know, speaking out against the New World Order. Innocent people can be. Innocent people. Can be so corrupted with desire that they can think of nothing but what they want. Going into the flesh, you know. We're battling this flesh, which is wicked. Innocent people can be so corrupted with desire that they can think of nothing but what they want, the flesh. This man Enoch achieved in a few years' time a perfection that other people could never attain in a complete lifetime. The Lord was pleased with Enoch's life and quickly took him out of this wicked world. The people were aware of his departure, but didn't understand. They never seemed to learn the lesson that the Most High is kind and merciful to his own people. He protects those whom he has chosen. And he's going to protect his chosen, his elect. You know, let's get real quick. Since we're talking about it, let's just get that prophecy. This is Revelation 13. I'll probably get a few more wrap on up. This is Revelation 13. Let's get eight. And it reads, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life or the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. And you're going to have a lot of people be in awe of this man, his technology, you know, his, 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 his everything, man. You know? Yep. Revelation 13 and 4. And they worship the dragon who had power, like, and they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. The dragon is talking about the Roman Empire, you know. You know. Which gave power unto the beast. And they that worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? You know. <clears throat> and you're going to have our people be in awe of this man's technology, you know, and they're going to succumb, you know, to their desires and, and take it, man. Yes, yeah, like it. And they worship the dragon, you know, Esau, Edom, which gave power into the beast, Rome 2.0, but they're also interchangeable as well. And they worship the beast, Rome 2.0, saying, who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him? Yep, let's go to. Revelation 13 and 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. You saw Edom and his system, you know, and take that that digital brand, you know, in the brain or in the hand. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of, of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Yep. Let's go down to. We know the prophecy, you know. But we'll just get it, though. We're right here. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And it reads, I'll get 15. And he had power, could, and he had power, and he had power to give life to the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak. The image is the system. You know, the beast is the Roman Empire. You know. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak. The system. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. You know, this man's system, which comes with the brand, which is the mark, which is the RFID implantable microchip or the brain implant. And they caused all and he causes all that were caused that goes into setup to make ready to get ready. And that's what's happening. We went to several pieces of information to show that being set up. 
And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. That word mark is karagma, which is something that's physical. In their right hand or in their foreheads. Real quick. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So to be able to have access granted in this society, this digital technocracy, you know, you're going to have to have that brand, which is the digital all, which shows your servitude, you know, towards this man's system and him. And there's nothing new under the sun. They did this in ancient Greece, where you had to, you know, live like the Greeks, worship like the Greeks, just like the Greeks, or you weren't going to be a participant in that society, ostracized, you know, killed. And that was... Uh, all nations that they did that the Greeks did that to. It wasn't just, you know, uh Jake they caught the most hell, but the Greeks they Hellenized everybody, you know. Nothing new under the sun, you know. And this is uh Hellenization two point you know, where you saw even the same nation of people, because the Greeks were Edomites, they're going to try to Hellenize the whole planet. In the form of take this MOT to the B instead of a tattoo or a brand to worship Bacchus or Dionysus, it's going to be an actual implantable device they're going to put inside you or try to put inside you to be God. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 14. This is, uh, this is Isaiah 14 and 4, and it reads, Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. And the king of Babylon, that's talking about, you know, the wicked elite who run this society. You know, the banking families who run this world. That's the king of Babylon, you know, the kings of Babylon. Thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? The Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai had broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. And how is that happening? Well, he's doing that through this word. Because what the Heavenly Father is doing is he's giving Esau Edom a play by play of what's going to happen to him for every move he makes in the chessboard, for every action as a counteraction. And that leads to your destruction. How long have we been going? Probably wrap on up in the next three minutes. Let's get um. Let's get First Corinthians. We ain't went here in a while. Two, I'll say it's six. Yep. This is First Corinthians two and six, and it reads, "How be it, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes." of this world that come to not nor of the princes of this world that come to not and real quick the Lord said I want to say might be eight bear with me might be John Yep, this is John 16 and 11. This has been a, a good one to, to get as of late. And it reads, <clears throat> Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judge. You know, Esau, Edom. His judgment is already sitting in the heavens. It's already written, you know. It just has to play out. This is... 1 Corinthians 2 and 6 again. How be we speak the wisdom of this world 
how be we speak the wisdom of them them how be we speak the wisdom among them that are perfect in this wisdom knowledge and understanding they have the gift of faith yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught but we speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which the most high ordained before the world unto our glory that word wisdom goes into Sophia that word mystery goes into Mysterium you know I'll just get them both real quick we got new eyes and new ears two this is uh real quick let's get this one as well Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good one as well. This is Jeremiah 23 and 24. And it reads, yep. Cause that's what Esau in his mentality is, you know? He, he has the mentality of none seeth me, you know? But the heavenly father sees you. Jeremiah 23 and 24 can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him saith the Lord do not I fill heaven and earth saith the Lord well we read earlier this is Psalm 64 and 2 and it reads hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity because they're the secret counsel of the wicked because for a long time their wickedness was done you know under the radar not many people knew about the Illuminati, but now they're boasting of their heart's desire because the Heavenly Father's put the Spirit on them to be proud so He can cast them down. This is Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. Yep. The angels see you. You know, the hopeful elect see you. You know, the heathen see you. You know, we can see you, right? Inside joke. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord Yahweh Shai of glory. Yep. Because it was the Romans that put their hands on them, man. And they got a cold judgment that's coming for them. You know, he's coming back to visit them. Real quick. Yeah. This is Job. It's like my phone has a mind of its own. This is Job 21. Yep. It's a good one. This is Job 21 and 29. And it reads, <clears throat> yep, let's start with 27. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which you wrongfully imagined against me. You know, his lies, you know, the MOT to the B, accusing the brethren, you know, setting up false prophets, so on and so forth. The, 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 the trickery and sorcery of the devil. For ye say, where is the house of the prince? And where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Have ye not asked them that go by their way? And do ye not know their tokens, their signs, their prophecy? I mean, their signs, you know? Tokens goes into signs, you know? And the prophecies, you know, they reveal what time period we're in, you know, the signs of the times. That's the spirit that that was coming out like that. Job 21 and 29. Have ye not asked them that go by their way, that go by the way, and do ye not know their tokens? And we know the traits of Esau, you know, by the way he moves in the earth. You know, his pigment being removed from him. Him ruling the earth by the sword. Lies. Treachery. You know, him speaking like a dragon. Him running and ruling Babylon the Great. 
because it's connected to the biblical Edomites who will be given the fatness of the earth in the last days. This is Job 21 and 30. And he reads that the wicked is reserved, that the wicked is reserved for the day of destruction and he shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. <laughs> His judgment is reserved, you know, for when they for, for, for when Yahweh Shai cracks the sky. And we're going to tell him about it every single day through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. You know, that, that the Heavenly Father puts the spirit on us to, you know, tell Esau Edom his judgment. Because the truth is more than, you know, fuck the white man all the time. Like the apostle, like the apostles have said. You know, there's more of the truth than fuck the white man all the time. Pardon my Persian. Job 21 and 31. Who shall declare his way to his face and who shall repay him for what he had done? Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. But who is going to tell him his ways to his face? His prophets, man. His men. Spoiler alert. You don't win. You know, you know that. That's why you're moving with desperation. The two minute drill. And it's not going to work. You know. You're going to get sacked on all four downs, man. I'm trying to run that two-minute drill, man. Turn the ball over and lose the game. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in the mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory. That's what's coming. <laughs> glory, man, you know. Yeah, let's get this word ordained real quick. The word ordained is to predestinate, predeterminate. Decide beforehand. And he's decided Esau Edom's fate beforehand. And the chosen elect, their fate. You know? Man. That word wisdom goes into Sophia. The main point we want to get. And we go through this quite often on this channel, but we'll go through it for the new believers. The wisdom which belongs to men. Yep. Right down to the point. The intelligence invents in discovering the meaning of some mysterious number or vision. Some mysterious number of vision. What mysterious number of vision? If you go into Revelation 13 chapter, Revelation 13, because I had it pulled up. It's all good. I'll get it right here. Revelation 13 and 18. And it reads, Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6 603 score is a score is 20 666 the universal product code system you know that's what it's going into you know if you want to you know that's what's going into in the form of Sophia you know the intelligence Invinced in discovering for this definition right here the intelligence invinced in discovering the meaning of some mysterious number of vision yep the wisdom of the most high as evinced in forming and executing councils in the in the formation of government of the world and the scriptures and that's what's coming us governing and ruling the world man how about that that word mystery goes into Mysterion. I'll let him say it. Strong's G, 3466, Mustadion. Yep. Mustadion. And it goes into of an image or form seen in a vision. A hidden thing of seek or secret thing not obvious to the understanding. Generally mysteries, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. Yep. Secret will. You know. A hidden purpose or counsel. And that. That message is hidden. From the ungodly. Of the councils. Of the secret councils. Which the mo of the most high. The secret councils. Which govern the most high. In dealing with the righteous. Which are hidden from the ungodly. And wicked men. But plain to the godly. You know. At the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So I'm gonna close on out right here. We've been going long enough. Once again, Esau Edom's on the move. Prophecies playing out, and the vision is speaking loud and clear. So with that, I'm gonna close on out. And in closing, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rachak Wadash.
double honors unto the head of apostles and elders of great millstone shalom unto the whole for the elect peace love salutations and blessings unto the servants of prophets prophesying across the forms of the earth a hearty shalom to the men of Ireland and DTA camps wa ababa ba soon 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 shalom